Hi, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the month of September in love and relationships. This is a reading for everybody who has Libra in his sun, moon, rising and Venus. And of course, for the cross watchers. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. I'm going to jump right into your reading. First card out I have for you. It is safe for you to love, Libra. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Second card, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And the third card from the Romans Angel deck, let go of control issues. Hmm, interesting. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So you have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life and let go of control issues. So maybe this control issues is talking about somebody or some situation is taking control over you. And now it's time for you to take that control back. It is safe for you to love. We'll see. I have three cards from the Island Time Wellness deck. Karmic relationship. Libra. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go. Letting go. And loving you. Second card. Hmm. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So it might be you're in a karmic relationship with somebody. Maybe this is a long-term commitment you were having or you're still having with somebody. But um, you're feeling like... You have been losing control in this situation with this person when it comes to this commitment, this partnership. Third card out is the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to ego. So we'll see. We have a message from the Moonology deck. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. So you might be dealing with a Leo or you have a fire in your own chart. I have three tarot cards for the overall energy for this reading. Two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air energy, your energy, Libra. We have... The lovers, Gemini energy, and we have the world, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. So I feel like with this three cards, these three cards, and you're in the overall energy for the reading, um, you're contemplating. Um, about a choice you have to make and um, with this card you're in your head not knowing what situation what um, way to go you're not seeing the whole picture I feel like uh, you're not seeing um, When it comes to this relationship with the lovers, definitely it can speak about uh, a karmic relationship with the card we have right here. With the lovers, you need to make a choice in this relationship, I feel, and you don't know what choice to make. Stay in this relationship. Maybe this relationship makes you feel like you lose control um maybe you're dealing with somebody who has a very big ego and who likes to control so there can be codependency in this relationship in one way or the other you or your person are um codependent on the other one 
not, not knowing how to step out of this. Because maybe this is a long-term commitment, a long-term partnership. Maybe you um, promised your person to stay together forever or till eternity with this engagement ring. And that's what makes it hard for you to let go of the control also in this situation let the situation unfold naturally with the world i feel and with the lovers this is these are very uh, divinely divine cards spiritual cards what the world is talking about an ending and a new beginning a new phase um in life A rebirth, maybe a new phase in your relationship. We'll see. I have three cards. Uh, I wanted to take three cards for your energy. Four cards came out. Libra, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the card Release. This is, this is the death card in the original tarot deck. We have the three of swords. And we have the eight of cups. I feel like in your energy, it's definitely talking about an ending uh, when it comes to a long-term uh, commitment. A happy marriage, happily ever after, uh, a loving relationship. Maybe you're having children with this person. Uh, you were or are still married to this person. You're raising children together. You um, felt like uh, this was going to last forever with the engagement ring here and with the, the, the lover's card. Um, and now... Maybe you're not wanting to uh, admit that things were going downwards in this relationship. And you're thinking about releasing um, this person, maybe ending this relationship and beginning... Yeah, beginning something new or you're um, wanting to enter a new phase in this relationship. You want to have um, a deeper bond with this person and work on um, your family. Having children maybe if you don't have children with this person. But... With the karmic relationship card here, I feel like <clears throat> also with the three of swords, you have been through a lot of sadness and pain in the past with this person. And it's a card of um, talking about uh, needing to let go of the past. This is also talking about personal growth that comes from challenges and healing misunderstandings and being there for those in needs. But I'm feeling like definitely this uh, situation, this um, long-term commitment caused you a lot of pain in the past and you're now wanting to release this pain or this relationship and start a new cycle. We have here the Eight of Cups. You need to move on. You're seeking more in life than what you're experiencing at the moment. <clears throat> this is also a spiritual quest. And you're choosing to make a big life change. Uh, you uh, have made a change in priorities. And uh, maybe this can also talk about you leaving your home. And relocating. Mm, 
going to live on your own, starting a new cycle. Definitely an energy of walking away, ending one cycle uh, that caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of hurts. And it uh, can also be this person uh, puts you in a love triangle. <coughs> Choosing somebody else above, before you. Um, this person might have been in and out of your life with the runner card here also. And you're now choosing um, to let go of control. Everything you had in mind, um, this happily ever after, and uh, wanting to keep the control on going for this happily ever after, you have to lose, uh, let go of that. And uh, this might be very hard for you to let go of this but I feel like you're now realizing you need to go and find um, go a new go on a new path so I have three cards for your person ten of pentacles earth energy ten of wands fire energy and the Page of Pentacles. So you might be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> with this Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Wands, uh, I feel like your person feels like this relationship between the both of you is also... Um, burdening to them so you might both be carrying a lot of burdens and with this page of pentacles your person wants to create a new situation is looking at a situation from all angles also with the page. The page is also a messenger. So maybe your person will um, come towards you with a message when it comes to this stable relationship or this long-term relationship you were having. I feel like with the page of pentacles, they're starting something new. And with the tense, releasing the burdens. So I have three cards for your outcome. <clears throat> Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Temperance card, Sagittarius. And we have the Hangman. This is the outcome of the situation. With the Eight of Wands, it's talking about a forward movement uh, going forward. So you're definitely uh, choosing a direction to go. You also have the Lovers, the choose, uh, yeah, Choice card. You, you will be making a choice. You will uh, move forward. But the Temperance is talking about having patience. And I feel like... This is also talking about um, divine timing. So let the situation unfold itself and don't rush. Because the Eight of Wands is very fast movement and uh, the Temperance is telling you maybe something will uh, stop you from rushing and making um, a fast decision. You have to have patience in this situation. Also with the hangman. The hangman is talking about uh, looking at the situation from all angles. Um, having an epiphany. Um, stagnated energy. Taking rest. Taking time out. So... 
I will I have to clarify that. Why is here the eight of wands in the outcome for Libra? Why is here the eight of wands in the outcome for Libra? Why is here the eight of wands? Whoa. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Page of Cups. So like I said, this person could be in and out of your life. Maybe they're coming back uh, or they're coming with a love offer. And maybe they're coming back with um, apologies, uh, offering you something. Um, but don't make a decision based on this approach from your person, I feel. This person is definitely feeling love for you <clears throat> with the Knight of Cups. And this person will come with an emotional message towards you. This person will express their love to you. Why is here the temperance? Why is here the temperance? Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, your energy. This is also an energy of healing, taking rest, taking a time out, overthinking the situation, uh, pulling back. Why is here the temperance? Why is here the temperance and the outcome? The Hermit. Oh my God. How much uh, of the same energy can we have? The Hermit. Shining your inner light. Closing off. Closing off from the world. Uh, looking inside yourself. And maybe getting clarity, um, not rushing, having patience and taking your time. So I feel like Libra in the month of September, you be, you, you're in an um, energy of um, not immediately um, releasing the situation or walking away from the situation. But this is your energy. Um, but this is a very, I feel like, long-term commitment. And you saw a future with this person. And maybe you already have been in this relationship for years. This might have been a relationship for 10 years already. So it's difficult. Um, but it's talking about uh, letting go of control issues. And let the divine take over. And be confident in this situation. First... Look inwards, and then when you healed the past, when you get clarity, you can make a choice when it comes to this situation. And we have the Six of Cups that came out reminiscing about the past, reminiscing about the good things. This can also talk about a soulmate, a karmic relationship, somebody you have been with in a past life or somebody you have known from childhood why is here the hangman why is here the hangman why is here the hangman and the outcome for libra why is here the hangman yes the wheel of fortune going around in circles Deciding to end the circle and go further on your journey in life. This is also talking about divine timing. Again, the Wheel of Fortune. So you might at this moment be connecting with Source. Connecting with the universe. Connecting with the divine. Because we have the lovers. We have the world. We have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Temperance card, we have the Hangman, um, the Death card. This is all 
all uh, the ten of cups all very spiritual cards so i feel like um definitely divine will step in in this situation and um will help you to make a good choice in this situation we have the king of cups somebody is having a lot of love for the other one there's a, a yes a very close uh bond between the two of you you feel a lot of love a deep bond between the two of you uh, you have a lot of love for this person and you don't know if you want to end it underneath the deck we have the ace of wands a new passionate beginning so for some of you you might come to the conclusion uh, while going within that you want to end this circle and start a new journey in life but for some of you also you will take this relationship to a next level and um, regain the passion again and um, expressing the love you feel towards this person so i hope this resonates uh it resonates for somebody i feel so if it resonates give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment i have two more messages for you from the keepers of the light deck we have the card freya Phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So definitely you will get clarity about this situation. And there's a beginning within every ending. Then I have a, another message from you, for you from the soul's journey and the message for you. Libra is love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Very beautiful. Thank you for watching. I bless you all. Bye.